Hello students, welcome to our channel Success Achievers. Today we are going to solve one question from NEED 2025. Given that a bob of heavy mass M is suspended by a light string of length L. The bob is given a horizontal velocity V0 as shown in this figure. If the string gets slack at some point P making an angle theta from the horizontal, the ratio of the speed V of the bob at the point P to its initial speed V0 is. So we have to calculate the ratio. So first of all, we will calculate, we will see here. So suppose this is horizontal, that the lowest point speed is how much? U or V0. At the lowest point speed is V0. So V0. Suppose at this point speed is V. How much speed? V. Then at this point downward direction mg force will be there. And here this angle is theta. So this is mg sin theta. Okay. Now mv square by r. So this is centrifugal force mv square by r. Now you can see here mv square by r. The net force must be zero, or you can say tension will be zero. So tension T is equal to zero, or we can say suppose tension T. So P plus mg sine theta minus m v square by radius suppose r that radius is nothing but length of the string so l is equal to 0 and then tension is 0 then we can say mg sin theta is equal to m v square by l so m gets cancelled out we can say g sin theta is equal to v square by l this is one equation I am giving. Now you can do one thing. We will calculate or uh, we can apply the energy conservation law. Okay, the total energy at the lowest point is equal to so total energy conservation energy energy conservation then at lowest point energy is half of m v naught square and potential energy considered as 0. At this point what will be the height? This height is how much? This is theta. So this is sin theta. Then this is length L. So L sin theta and this is L. L plus L sin theta. So H is equal to how much? H equal to L 1 plus sin theta or we can say half of m v square plus m g h is in place of h we can say m gets cancelled out so v naught square is equal to v square plus 2 g l 1 plus sin theta ok now let us see so v naught is equal to v naught square equal to v square plus 2 g L plus 2g L sin theta. Okay. One more thing we know that here you can say v square equal to g L sin theta. Just put here. Again, we can say v naught square is equal to v square. In place of v square, I can write g L sin theta plus 2g L plus 2g L sin theta. Then you can say here you will get v naught square is equal to 2gl if I take common okay 2gl plus 3gl sin theta or you are getting v naught square is equal to gl if I take common 2 plus 3 sin theta. So one equation we can take from here this equation 1 I am taking v square is equal to g l sin theta. This is equation 2 suppose and this equation 3. Just, 
just divide these two equations then equation 2 divided by equation 3 so we will get v square y v naught square is equal to g l sin theta divided by g l 2 plus 3 sin theta g l gets cancelled out and v y v naught is equal to sin theta divided by 2 plus 3 sin theta power 1 by 2 so this is your answer let's see which option is there the option is you can see then option will be sin theta by 2 plus the fourth option is your correct answer okay so thank you everyone thank you for watching please like share and subscribe